But what's wrong with the police surgeon on shift? No, it's been called out. Major incident. <laughs> Look, sorry, there's no way I've got patients booked in. Oh, come on, it's just a straightforward confirmation of death. It's easy peasy and it's just down the road. Yeah, when you say only down the road, where exactly? Arden Avenue. One number? Four. <laughs> Dog? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll, I'll see you there. Bad news? Um, I've got to go and confirm a death. You can't just... You can't just, what, skive off? No, of course not. What time will you be back? I have no idea. So do you want me to transfer your early points? Oh, yeah, just use your initiative. How hard can it be? Oh, she's taking a tumble down the stairs. The neighbour heard a bang about midnight, but she went back to sleep. She only called us this morning. I told you it was an easy one. Her name's Sita Patel. Yeah, I know. She's one of my patients. Oh, that's handy. Won't take you long to dig out the records. In front of her. She, um, she was just allocated a ground floor flat. I, uh, I supported the application. Oh, that's bad, not Yeah. Wouldn't have happened if she got the stay lift like I asked her to. Oh, it's like my nan. So stubborn. Centre. How can I help you? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Dr. Clay's been called out unexpectedly. That's fine. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye bye. Ruth, are you okay? Because the phone was just ringing. I was just about to answer it when you came through. Stop worrying about me. All right, okay. Um, well, why don't we reorganise Jimmy's appointments? He shouldn't just drop everything like that. You've got prep to do for your meeting. Oh, I'll ring it. Julia, I can manage. It's just that you do seem a bit... What? Well, stressed. Who wouldn't be? It's bedlam in here today. Mm, that's true. <laughs> OK, well, I'll be in my office if you want me then, all right? Oh, and I've got an electrician coming in later on to do a check. I don't want another crisis like we had at the campus. Three. Mill Health Centre. Morning, Mr Shah. You've been all night. Well, I'm 19, Dad. Huh? Well, if you want to make 20, get cleaning. It's your mess. You made it. You and your scabby mate. Jesus. Say that again. Go on. These are all fairly straightforward, but Alice Campion always insists on seeing Jimmy, so she might moan a bit. OK. Don't give me any more patience, so I can't oh. talk enough as it is. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, Daniel, I'm so, oh. so sorry. Are you, are you OK? I'm can fine. I get you a chair? I'm fine, thank you. I told you I can't take any more work. I have to share these out. This is ridiculous. You're the one that's supposed to have the organisational skills. I could do better myself. Oh, that I'd love to see. <sighs> Julia, I was just explaining to Ruth. Daniel. Giving her a hard time. But she's fragile at the moment. None of this is her fault. Yes. Okay? And haven't you got better things to be worrying about? Yes, uh, I've got to think about Izzy. No, your critical event reports. 
What? Well, I've had everybody's except yours and Jimmy's. I need them by lunchtime. Oh. What's the matter? I caught him with my elbow. Let's have a look. Hmm, yeah, you do have a bit of a bruise coming up. I'd slap some arnica on that if I were you. Well, I can take a look at it if you like. I sh uh, I'm feeling a little lightheaded. Lunch time, Daniel. Oh, um, ah, you must be the electrician. Uh, Ravi Patel reporting for duty. Right, uh, Julia Parsons. Better not. I could be live. I'm sorry. How's it the job? Right. Uh, OK, well, um, would you like to come through then? Mm. Pressure is phenomenal. Oh. What? It's just, um, a bit messy. D could you put your head back, please? It's a wonder I haven't cracked up. It does me no favours being resilient. It's the lame dogs that get all the sympathy. You notice that? Thank you. You're welcome. I better just, um, get back to work. Yeah. Um, Scal has taken the full impact, so she probably came down head first. Could time with what the neighbours heard at midnight. Do you think she had a heart attack and fell? West didn't have a heart condition, but the post-mortem will sort that out. Any idea of next of kin? She used to talk about a niece, but she emigrated recently. The, the, the mail should have up-to-date details, so I'll check when I go back. Something doesn't sit right. But you think this might be suspicious? Oh, it's just a feeling. Whatever it is, no, I'm on home visit. I, I think, uh, Simon, it's gay. <laughs> You've only just worked that out. He's got a crush on me, too. It's just perfectly understandable, of course. You, you really are a sad little man. You jealous? What, of you? It's because you've got your very own little lap dog. I'm doing an inventory of the PowerPoints and appliances before I undertake my diagnostic checks. Uh, Mr. Tell, I'm late for a very important meeting. There's nothing more important than safety. Absolutely, I agree, yes. But I have to go and... Ah, there's Ruth. Ruth is going to take care of you while I'm up, won't you, Ruth? Yes. And please, would you make sure that she knows before you switch the power off? Instruction received and understood, Ms. Parsons. Daniel, what about those reports? Uh, don't worry, I'm on it. He's changed his tune. Oh, listen, uh, you must ring me if things get out of hand, okay? You mean if I throw a wobbly? Well, no, I mean, it's just the prima donna doctors we've got to watch. Listen, could you please remind Jimmy about the critical event reports as well? Thank you. So, uh, try the cream, and if the... Um... Uh, if the itch persists, then do come back. OK, thank you. OK, bye for now. Simon, I just want to apologise for burdening you with my problems. No, honestly, you're not, you're not burdening me at all. In, in fact, I could take some of the load, if you like. Dream asking. It, it's fine, really. A variety of experiences would only be good for my training. Well, variety, in my book, is the spice of life. How do you fancy some stimulation? Shall we? Well, I need to speak to him. Yeah, no, it's OK. He knows me. It's, it, just tell him it's, it's Billy. Bit of Billy Minimus. Uh, yeah, it's me, Billy. I, I saw you yesterday. What? Oh, you can't give it to someone else. I need, I need it. Oh, you haven't even got the cash like you wanted. Where do you think you're going? I said... Where are you going? Nowhere. What's this? Oh, Dad, no! Oh, oh Dad, no! Hey! Dad, oh! Oh! Yeah, well, that's mine. I don't think so. OK, so this is the critical event report. At the end of the day, it's just a question of incorporating the information from the records and putting it in the right boxes. See? Yes, yes, I see. It's, uh... Easy, once you get into your stride. And the deadline certainly gets the adrenaline pumping. Deadline? Mm, Julia wants us in by lunchtime. It's not a problem, is it? Um, no. No, not at all. Good lad. OK, I just didn't want to give you the mundane stuff. That wouldn't have been fair. No, it's fine, Daniel. Thank you for the opportunity. 
Pleasure. Oh, we can keep this between ourselves. My lips are sealed, I promise. Dr. Clay. Billy? Yeah, look, I've got to talk to you, it's urgent. Yeah, that's what you said last time, and it turned out you wanted a signal so you could skive off college. No, no, it's not, it's not about that. Oh, you're up to date with your work, then? No, no Billy, but... you're never going to be a plumber if you don't complete your BTEC. Don't, you don't understand me. Well, come make an appointment, you'll talk to me then, yeah? Oh. Everything OK? Uh, not exactly. You need to dig out Sita Patel next to kin details. No, not Sita. And the police want the information, so could you just get onto it, please? Oh, uh, Jimmy. What? What? There's a guy checking PowerPoints in your room. Oh, great. And Julie asked me uh, to. Later. I'd need to make an appointment with Dr. Clay. Okay, take a seat. Be with you in a minute. I work with electricity, so I know the dangers. Yeah. When you think about it, an electrician has to diagnose in the same way as a doctor. I dare say you look at a person and see internal organs, veins and that. No, not necessarily. I look at a wall and see cables. Look, um, this is fascinating, but time's getting on. Uh... Electricians are revered above all of the tradesmen because we deal with a powerful force that everyone else takes for granted. Dr Clay has patients waiting. Maybe you could work somewhere else? You see? Everyone assumes other things are more important. It's a piece of work, isn't it? One of our seats is next to Kin. It's her niece, Priya Khan. Yeah, it was, she's emigrated. No one told me. What? Well, that's my fault, is it? I didn't say that. Well, blaming someone else is the easy way out, Ruth. Julia wants your critical events reports by the end of the day. Oh, critical event reports? You know, some of us live in the real world. Don't shoot the messenger. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Can he see me, uh, Billy Minowes? Yeah, hang on. Tomorrow, 10.30. No, no, it's no good. It's got to be today. Will you just give me a break? Oh. I'm sorry. Keep your head. When all around you are losing nerves. That's from a poem I learnt at school. Yeah. Mm. Thanks for that. Sorry, I shouted. I'm used to it. Can you give me some idea of what the problem is? I'm... I'm, I'm scared. I'm, I'm really, really scared. What of? My dad. The police finding out about... Uh, I'm, Dr Clay's the only one I trust. Right. I'll see what I can do for you, OK? What you're saying, you stupid. Jimmy. This error message is gobbledygook. Billy Middlemiss is outside. Yeah, I know. I've been hijacked once already. I think he's got serious problems. I don't think he's been kicked off his course. Jimmy, you don't realise. What, you're telling me how to do my job now? No. I'm asking you to listen. No, no! I've lost the file! Wait, well, you didn't tell me the power was going off! I didn't know! Wait, there you go again. It's never your fault, is it? Stop blaming me for everything, all right? OK, Ruth, calm down. No. You calm down. You're the one not in control. Yeah, but let's just sort it out, shall we? 
Sort yourself out. Ruth, I didn't know the power was going off. Neither did I. OK, everybody, I'm sorry. I'm going to find out what the problem is. Ruth. Dr Clay, I can't breathe. I, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Right. Come with me, this way. Okay, go and Billy, Billy, cup your hands over your nose and your mouth. Just breathe in and out normally, OK? In, out, in, slow, out. Good. Right, you having these texts frequently? Hello, Doc. The receptionist has gone able. Billy! What's that about? Can you see I was with a patient? Look, I'm sorry, it's about Sita Patel's death. It's now a murder investigation. You were supposed to tell us when the power went off. This left eye can see through walls. That's how I know it's still in the cables. The blue flash. Blue flash? The terrible malignancy. X-ray vision. See? What are you doing with those notes? Deceased is a lie. I saved this woman. OK, let's go and see a doctor. You can tell him about your eye. Mm? No! No! Ruth! Ruth! That's him! Right. Come on! You OK? Yeah. He's, um, he's Sita's nephew. His office told the police that he was working here. You should go to him. He needs a doctor much more than I do. <sighs> Baby Patel, I'm arresting you in connection with the death of Sita Patel. Why are you Anything saying you... this? I saved her from the power! Something tells me he's not in a fit state to be interviewed. Right, uh, bring him inside. I'll assess him in there. Come on. What? I saved her from the power! So when was this accident? Last year. The sheer force of the power sent me flying across the room. How badly were you hurt? I healed. But then I started to mutate. Mutate? This is not a normal human eye. It has X-ray vision. It warns me of danger. It told me the power had turned evil. And I had to switch it off to protect Aunt Sita. They didn't think she was at risk in the dark? Why won't anyone listen? I don't destroy people. I protect them. Why would I hurt Aunt Sita? I think the world of her. OK, Ravi, thank you. Would you uh, wait here for a minute, please? Nine, nine, What's the verdict? Uh, in my opinion, he needs an urgent psychiatric assessment. So I'll make some calls, prepare the way. Fair enough. We'll take him down the station. <clears throat> yeah, well, mate, look, I really need your help. I, I just need somewhere to dust for a couple of days. Can you get me in, please? Billy! Couldn't hear you over the racket. Ah, oh, Billy and them DVDs. Can I uh, come in? Of course. Billy? Oh, you're wasting your time. Come on, Billy, I'm only here to help. Oh, and I need to take a look at that. Did your dad do this? Yes, I did. What, do you mind telling me why? I lost my rag with him. I couldn't help it. It's like a knife through my heart, see? What is? Gonna have to come clean on this, son. Can't keep it quiet any longer. He's been smoking crack. Oh, I 
Ruth. Everything okay? What's happened? You know that electrician? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you off to? A bit of shopping. Uh, well, what about the... Critical event reports. They're waiting for you. No problems? No. This. This is what I'm putting up with. You smelled it when you came in, didn't you, Doc? Yeah. No point denying it, son. Look, it's not me, it's him. Look, um, cocaine and alcohol can be a lethal combination. How do you mean, lethal? Well, your liver manufactures a toxic chemical called cocaethylene. Ah, it's one of them myths. Oh, I'm afraid it's not. Taking alcohol and cocaine at the same time is incredibly stupid. Who are you calling stupid? I'm just trying to warn your son of the dangers of drug and alcohol abuse. Surely you want me to do that? Don't get smart with me. Dad! Look, you're the one who's doing crap, just admit it! I do what I like! Well, not if it's against the law. But yeah, I think you need to help, Mr. Middlemas. Yeah, go on, you coward! I don't think it's broken, but I can't be sure until the swelling's gone down. I feel guilty about dropping him in it. Can you believe that? No, well, feelings aren't black and white. He's still my dad. Well, Billy, I reckon you've done your best for him. It's your choice, mate. Choice? Yeah, I had a choice this morning when I had the money. What money is that? I, I sold my bike to one of the lecturers for his kid. He, well, it's too small for me now. And um, I'd seen this flat. I, but when I rang up, the landlord had already let it go to someone else. And your dad pinched the money. Yeah, I know he was going to buy crack. Yeah, he's bad news when he's on it. He's violent and paranoid. But well, I had enough. And then oh, when I saw the police at the surgery, I, 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 I panicked. But Billy, I, I have to tell them, you understand that, don't you? You will help him if he's wanted to have treatment. Well, that'll be the day that he admits he's done wrong. What are you going to do? Well, it's like someone up there just won't let me win. I mean, I'm just born to be a loser, really, aren't I? Now, oh, Billy, you're not a loser. Yeah, but I'm way behind with the B-Tech, though. Yeah, well, it's no wonder. Um, you need to speak to your tutor and your student welfare officer, and, and I'll back you up. Thanks. Come and see me tomorrow. I'll take another look at your nose, and we'll try and sort out those anxiety attacks, yeah? Oh, OK. Do you want to stay tonight? Yeah, yeah. I better go and grovel to Julia about this report. She's got them. I rescued the file. Thanks, Ruth. She's doing my job. Still here, then? You could have ruined my chances of a job. I had to say it was you. The tenancy of this house is in my name. I could lose it now because of you, because you open your big mouth. It's never your fault, is it? What, if it's not me, then it's Mum. She walked out on me. Well, she walked out on me as well, but I'm not killing myself with drugs and booze. <laughs> You'll get as far as the front door. I'm dusting with a mate till I get myself sorted. What's going to happen to me? Well, Dr Clay says you've got a throat. Promise me you will, Dad. Billy! Yeah? Spare is a tenner. I'll take it that's a no, then, will I?
You were right, I wasn't in control. I suppose you're upset about Sita. Well, it's only part of the story. I, um... I find some things about myself hard to face, let alone talk about. I know that feeling. Yeah. And sometimes... having stuff in common, uh... causes conflict. Where there should be understanding. I give you a rough time. I'm, I'm really sorry. Well, I've been thinking. Really? You know, Michelle? Yes. Well, do you fancy going out for a drink this evening? <laughs> what, have you found something? We've located human remains. I know that look. You just want to bite the buttons off his Armani <laughs> suit and lick him from head to toe. What did happen? Heaven knows. I don't. Ruth! She ruined my life. Dr Sloan's got his work cut out next on BBC One Scotland. There's no shortage of suspects in today's diagnosis murder.